Bingo! The millions of Namibian dollars the GIPF allegedly invested into Namibian companies will not be accounted for. This announcement was made by Prosecutor General Mathe Malwa just last week, and Namibians are simply incensed. The criticisms are centered on the widely held belief by the public court that I am covering some of the politically heavyweights from being prosecuted for offenses of corruption they have allegedly committed regarding the money which was lost, especially in the GIPF matter, the social security or AVID case, the ODC, and recently SME bank legal scandal. Now, according to some armchair activists, this list of the top 20 beneficiaries of monies from the GIPF at the time clearly illustrates the companies that benefited, and these surely should be traceable at the Registrar of Companies. I have requested an audience with the GIPF CEO, David Nyoma, and I will bring you that as soon as we get to it. Meanwhile, Namibians decried the fact that the Prosecutor General, Martha Imawa, announced her office's inability to trace 600 million Namibian dollars of taxpayers' money, and many took to social media to express their anger. The People's Democratic Movement called a press conference on the matter. We must react as, as, as much as we receive information. We are not the government. We are a government in waiting. So we only hear positions of government as they announce, and we are reacting towards it. Now to say that we are reacting, do you expect that 660 million is stolen? No, the person is saying she's not going to prosecute, therefore the PDM should keep quiet. The PDM must act in national interest. And in national interest, we have been talking about GIP money. For you to have known that there was money missing, it's because the, GI, the, the PDM, the old GTA, then broke the story of GIP of missing millions. We have been pushing questions to the president about uh, the commissions of inquiry. Nearly every state of the nation address, since I have assumed the leader of opposition, I'm asking the president on the question of missing millions. He has been defending his case, saying that no, uh, there, is, uh, there is small money, there is nothing there. Uh, it's small money. Don't you know these things? And I'm sure you're one of those journalists that have been covering my tenure as leader of opposition. So to ask me the question saying that we are reactionary. We are a proactive political organization that deals with problems as they are facing. You would say the same thing. Which party has been telling government to shut down in Namibia? Now that the Namibia has been shut down after losing over 12 billion, which party has pioneered the cause that in Namibia was a bottomless pit? Which, how many motions have we brought to parliament? So I think journalists must also be fair that we are doing our work. There is no issue that has never been championed by PDM. Any issue that was raised in this country, from corruption cases, any issue we have made, we have been made to mark. And we have not ended up there. We have challenged government on a number of occasions on mismanagement. So the PDM is calling on all stakeholders. We are going to call a march, a national march, a people's march, to march against the Office of the Prosecutor General against the Office of the Chief Justice as to what has transpired. Because the GIP of Saka is a miscarriage of justice, a serious miscarriage of justice. And if society is expected to be told that, yes, we're investigating, for a number of years we're investigating, but just to be told that the Prosecutor General is saying there is no evidence. And because many commissions of inquiries reports are carrying dust, they are deliberately carrying dust for them to, to be told that no, this thing has lapsed and expired because the evidence could not be collected on the time. We are saying, let's bring international experts, trans uh, especially banking financial experts, to trace this money for us, to trace the owners of those companies and to get the ball rolling for those that have taken the money to start repaying the money or face the wrath of the law. So we have written to the president in confidence. We have raised a number, number of matters to him on, on this matter. And this issue dovetails with the issue of the SME banking. There was a judicial inquiry. Up to now, no prosecution has taken place. Up to now, as we are speaking, 
No person has been taken to task about the money that was lost in the SMB bank. Now, they, that is how the cookie crumbles. The government is deliberately playing with time. Their, the authorities are playing with time in order to protect those that are involved. So PDM is disgusted about this miscarriage of justice. And we are saying, let me be to have an opportunity. We will probably uh, consult a number of political parties, change leaders, uh, social movements, uh, Czech Dwellers Association, every Namibia. We will probably have a lunch hour march, even if you have a car to come and vote against the system that is taking away from us. There is an African saying that is quite very really improper. But people are saying that like a scale for any of the other voters in the world. But we have become careful over the corruption that is mistreating and taking away from the people of this country. And by the fact of the matter that the GIPF case cannot be prosecuted. It sends Namibia's own credit rating, economic credit rating, into jeopardy because the world can see that this country cannot handle affairs of corruption. Money can be symphonized out of systems, pension money, and nobody can be able to account. We can't move on while we are being robbed every day. Namibians are asked to contribute 2% to the drought. But it is okay, we must contribute to the drought 2%. But the government has taken away 660 million and was given to comrades. And these were deliberate policies. Then this money has gone to comrades. During the time of GIP Osaka, it was a time of job for comrades, business for comrades. So the comrades have taken too large of a chunk from our country. And we demand action. We demand resolute action from the head of state to release, to, to relieve the prosecutor general of the duties.